Hello guys, kamusta kayong lahat at welcome back dito sa May Art Life. On our previous episode, sinubukan natin ang Mia Himi kaya bumili ako ng konting colors nito and so far na impress ako sa quality ng product na to. It's easy to work with, pigmented at very affordable. At tulad nga nung sinabi ko on my last video, kapag maganda ang product na to ay bibiling ko yung full set ng 18 colors. So ngayon, excited na ako dahil finally, eto na siya. Sa wakas, dumating na ang Mia Himi 18 color set. Excited na akong buksan at gamitin ang set na to. So, let's get started. So, as you can see, ito, ito yung Miyahimi full set ng 18 colors. And uh, marami tong color, pero yung nabili natin is mint green. Uh, it also comes in blue, pink, and yellow. So, na natin yung plastic wrapping and bubble wrap. Ito to nga yung sabi nila. Mabigat nga yung gouache set na to. Hindi lang dahil marami yung color niya, dahil yung each color niya is 30 ml. So, so far, very sturdy yung plastic niya. Hindi flimsy. So, ito siya, as you can see. Alright, and let's start with the unboxing. And so far, yung una-una ko napansin dito is that the Mia brand name is missing. It only says they're Himi. Pero nandun yung detail na it's wash and then 18 colors and each color is 30 ml each. So, um, the case itself, meron siyang dalawang latches on both sides and this would keep the lid shut. Now, down at the bottom, very simple lang yung structure niya. Pero it's made of really sturdy plastic. So, to get the lid off, just lift the latch on both sides and ayun na siya the lid comes off very easily and pwede nyo rin tong gawing mixing palette pero dun sa loob meron siyang uh, actually designated na mixing palette and meron siyang apat na wells so two large wells and two smaller wells this mixing palette or mixing plate nga pala is made of the same plastic material as the rest of the case Alright, so here are all of the 18 colors and what I like about this is that um, each color is in its own container as each container is nakasil siya, so it keeps the paint moist. And now let me show you all of the colors of the Mia Himi set. And there we go, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Okay, and let's put aside muna yung mga paints for the meantime so we can take a good look at the casing or yung paint tray niya which kind of reminds me of an ice tray, don't you think? So, pag naubos nyo na yung Miyahimi gouache nyo, pwede nyo na tong gamitin pang ng yellow. Ngayon naman, let's take a look at the jelly cups. Ito yung tawag nila dun sa container ng Miyahimi gouache. Although dun sa seal, or dun sa plastic seal niya on top, Chinese yung nakasulat na name ng color. Although, uh, dun sa website ng Miyahimi, may available dun na chart with the English names. Now, doon naman sa casing or sa tray ng um, Himi Gouache, uh, meron siyang groove or slot. At pag nilagay mo doon yung jelly cups, it keeps it in place. So, I think that's a good touch. Ano yun, alam mo yun, simple lang pero it's, it's a really good touch with the casing. Okay, so let's jump into the next segment of our video which is opening all of the jelly cups. And dito pa lang sa unang jelly cup na binuksan ko, which is itong deep red, lalo ako na-excite sa Miyahimi Gouache dahil nakata niya naman sobrang solid ng kulay tsaka ang vibrant. I don't know about you, pero para sa akin, napaka-satisfying buksan yung each ng jelly cup kasi ngayon lang ako naka-experience ng ganitong klaseng paint. Usually kasi diba yung paint, it comes in a palette or nasa tube pero this time nasa jelly cup siya and kakaiba talaga yung experience pero very very satisfying meron din ako na panood na ibang videos before yung mga nag review na rin ng Mia Himi and medyo na put off sila or naiinis sila dun sa pagbukas ng jelly cups kasi mahirap daw buksan pero so far hindi naman basta dahan-dahan lang yung paghila mo wag mong bibiglain and it's it's as easy as opening yung, yung alam mo yan yung mga jelly ace 
so far the paint looks very creamy which is okay lang with gouache kasi uh, the way you use gouache uh, you use it with less water and more paint it's the same way that you use acrylics if you have used acrylics before yun ganun siya gamitin at eto nga pala guys if you are planning to buy a miyahimi gouache set eto pag inopen nyo yung jelly cup usually may dumidikit na paint on top of dun sa cover niya so ipunas nyo lang dun sa edge nung jelly cup para walang masayang na paint just like how I did here ayan bago nyo ibalik dun sa casing okay at ito naman para dun sa mga gustong bumili nung miyahimi set well yung sa akin nabili ko to online and I don't think kailangan nyo pang hulaan ko sa so, ito nabili of course sa ko di sa Shopee and yung seller niya is fantastic bean uh, I think siya lang ata yung nagbebenta nung uh, Miyahimi gouache set. I'm not sure. Pero nabili ko to for 850 pesos. So again, sa Shopee, yung seller is Fantastic Bean. Tapos sa uh, 850. Pero I think mas mura na ata niya binibenta to ngayon. Alright, so now we are down to our last few colors. And uh, bago tayo matapos with opening all of the Miyahimi gouache colors, uh, if you're new to this channel, kung bago ka palang sa, sa site na to or sa channel na to, and kung lagi ka rin namang nandito sa My Art Life, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. At uh, huwag nyo rin kalimutang i-like yung video. Malaking tulong to para sa channel nating to. And of course, um, do consider uh, sharing this to your friends na mahilig din sa art. Okay? At para naman dun sa mga nakasubscribe niya, thank you so much. And I really appreciate your support sa channel na to. Okay, so that's our last color and muna pa tayo punta dun sa next segment natin at very excited na rin ako. Right? So those are all of the 18 colors of the Miyahimi gouache set. Alright, eto na ang next segment natin, the moment of truth. At malalaman natin firsthand kung talaga nga worth it at magandang gamitin ang Miyahimi gouache set na to. And let's go to our color swatching. And let's start off with this first color. And I must say, very creamy yung consistency ng paint na to. So very promising. Pero titingnan natin when we swatch all of the colors. Let's start off with this deep red color. And ang ganda, vibrant na vibrant yung kulay. And sa swatching natin, dalawa yung gagawin natin. Isang pure color or pure paint lang. Tapos, um, lalagyan natin siya ng water at magwa-wash effect tayo. Titignan natin kung vibrant pa rin ba yung kulay kapag ka wash na with a lot of water. Kung mapapansin nyo pala, kapag nagdagdag na tayo ng water tapos nag-wash effect na, um, hindi siya nag-bloom tulad ng regular watercolors, yung transparent watercolors. That's because iba yung ingredients at yung characteristics ng gouache. Uh, it's meant to be used with less water and more paint. So, hindi talaga siya ganun na magkakaroon ng blooming kapag ka nagdagdag na ng water. And as you can see here sa uh, pinipaint natin ngayon, nagsaspread siya, oo, pero there's no blooming that's happening. And actually, um, kapag dinagdagan na natin sa ng water, kung makikita nyo, merong granulation na nangyayari or yung, yung parang may buo-buo or malalaki yung particles ng paint. Uh, that's because hindi ganun kapino yung gouache uh, tulad sa transparent watercolors. Pagdating naman dito sa ultramarine color na to, medyo nag-iba bigla yung consistency. It's more parang gel yung consistency niya. At kung makikita nyo, hindi siya ganun ka-opaque. Um, mataas yung transparency niya. And uh, this one looks more like you know the regular transparent watercolors rather than gouache. Pero so far, just like the others na nauna ko nang nag-swatch kanina, vibrant yung kulay. So, okay, okay na rin yun sa akin. And ito naman isang to, ito yung napagkamalang kong black kanina kasi sobrang dark and pigmented ng kulay niya. Pero, um, sa totoo, Prussian blue pala siya. And as I place it or paint it on paper, yun, lumabas na yung kulay niya. As you can see, sobrang deep yung pagka-Prussian blue niya. And uh, yun nga lang, yung consistency niya, it's the same as the other blue na nauna kanina. Parang gel din yung consistency. Pero so far, I'm okay with it since bright and vivid pa rin yung kulay. Dito naman, yung black color, wala akong marereklamo. The black is very good and very, very deep yung kulay niya as a black. 
So, perfect. Perfect na to. Wala na ako masasabi. And even if you wash it with water, sobrang pigmented pa rin siya. Although, ayun, may kita may granulation. That's fine. That's how gouache is. Alright, so now let's move on to the second layer of colors na meron tong Miyahimi gouache. And we are now uh, coloring using Ponsu Red. And itong red na to, it's more like parang vermilion. Ma-orange siya na rin. And uh, so far, yung observation ko is, uh, usually yung gouache, di ba, is supposed to be parang poster color, opaque yung kulay. But so far, um, itong Miyahimi gouache, meron siyang certain level of transparency. So kung may kita nyo, hindi niya totally nako-cover yung uh, black band or yung black line dun sa swatch box. And um, most of the colors are may pagka-semi-transparent. Parang bilang na bilang lang yung mga kulay na totally opaque and nakocover niya yung black line. Pero don't get me wrong. Actually, this works for me kasi depende lang yun sa style eh, or kung paano ka talaga mag-paint. Sa akin kasi, I start off with uh, pencils or um, outline or line art. Doon ako nagsa-start. Pero usually kapag uh, pencil yung sinimulan ko, um, hindi ko na siya binubura. Nagpe-paint na ako kagad. So gustong-gusto ko nakikita yung mga pencil marks, yung mga line strokes uh, underneath the paint. So yung pagka-semi-transparent nung uh, Miyahimi gouache, that works for my style. Pero itong grass green na itatry natin this time at obserbahan nyo mabuti, this has a higher opacity or yun nga, opaque siya na na-cover niya yung uh, black line. So yun yung sinasabi ko kanina na medyo inconsistent yung um, paints na to kasi yung iba um, mataas yung transparency, yung iba naman opaque. Ito namang burnt amber, actually gustong gusto ko yung shade nung burnt amber niya kasi hindi siya mapula. Um, pwede itong gamitin for florals, yung pagkagamagawa ka ng mga branches, or sa skin tone for shading. Okay, so ito na, nasa last layer na tayo ng um, colors. And um, itong rose actually is magenta. And kung napanood yun sa previous videos ko, very important sa akin yung magenta. So perfect na perfect na kasama ang magenta na kulay sa set na to. Okay, so yun yung rose which is magenta. And then the next color is lemon yellow. And actually medyo shocking yung color ng lemon yellow nila kasi sobrang bright. Na halos nasa border na siya ng neon or ng fluorescent color. And so far, same as the other colors, uh, mataas din yung transparency ng lemon yellow. At ano nga pala, um, I'd like to add nga pala, um, with the consistency of these paints, um, usually kasi minagamit na ako ng mga gouache before, and yung consistency nila, medyo heavy yung consistency. Yung creamy siya, but it's like um, peanut butter yung consistency. Mabigat siya, tsaka parang harsh siya sa brush. Pero yung consistency ng Miyahimi, it's more like parang um, tunaw na ice cream or uh, mayonnaise. It's creamy but it's very light. So, ang dali lang niyang ispread. O nga pala, uh, I don't know if you have noticed, pero nung binuksan ko yung Miyahimi for the first time, medyo nagulat ako kasi um, nagtaka ko bakit dalawa yung white. So, nung tinignan ko dun sa chart list, um, yung isang white is titanium white. Yung isa naman, white lang siya. And uh, ngayong na-swatch ko na siya, I think nakita ko na yung difference. Titanium white, more on transparent siya. And then yung white is like Chinese white. So, mas opaque yung pagka-white nito. And I guess you can use this on certain styles and technique. Ito namang jade green. Actually, I do not like this color that much kasi parang... Uh, it's muted, tapos parang alanganin yung pagka-green niya and I wish they have put something na deeper, um, much more uh, brighter shade ng green. Um, mas useful pa tong pale green kasi yung kulay niya, um, parang yung lemon yellow din. Uh, it's bright na parang halos neon na. So marami tong uses na mapagagamitan, especially with florals, you know, when you're making yung highlights ng mga uh, leaves. 
Ganon. So, kung may ka rin sa landscape, very useful itong pale green. Alright, and that's it for our color swatching session for today with none other than Miyahimi Gouache 18 color set. So, habang nilalagay ko tong uh, swatch sheet natin sa lid ng Miyahimi case, uh, please watch out for upcoming drawing sessions gamit ang Miyahimi. Um, I think I will be using uh, this gouache set more often. Kasi para sa akin, maganda siya. Sobrang okay siya. So, uh, guys, again, thank you so much. I can't thank you enough for supporting this channel. And um, I'll see you on our next watching session. At alam niyo ba, marami pa tayong segment dito sa channel na to. So, everyone, um, you all have a good day and take care, okay? Stay safe.